Hey, my beautiful collector. Welcome to Swift Intuitions. If this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button if anything resides. And if this is not your first time on my channel, hey, family, how you doing? I know, I know. I miss y'all too. How y'all doing with y'all beautiful selves? Y'all look real good, real good. Y'all ain't just saying that because it sound good, although it sound good too. Anyway, uh, before we get started, um, what I wanted to say, hmm. I could have been anywhere in the world, but I'm right here with you. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I thank you right now for my beautiful collective. I thank you for their life. I thank you for their purpose. I ask you right now, Lord God, to let them walk into their divine, powerful purpose. Give them the strength that they need to endure any situation. Heavenly Father, victory is our portion. We walk in it. We receive it. We claim it. Hey, if y'all claim that, like this. Share this. Okay? Okay. So we're going to go to the questions because... Questions? I like questions. I don't know. I like the questions. It's crazy how we keep getting the same questions, though. So that just makes me feel like God is trying to tell you something. God is trying to tell you something right now, right now. What does being mean to me? So Spirit wants you to really, really ask yourself, what does being mean to you? What does it mean to you to exist? I feel Spirit wants you to answer the question to yourself, why do you exist? Do you feel like there's a bigger purpose or do you just feel like you're just here to be a part of nothing? What, what are you, what, what? So I feel like right now, some of you guys can be going through a, a time where it's like you're trying to analyze or or find what life is, what is the purpose, what is your purpose? A lot of you guys are looking for your purpose right now. There's certain things that are happening. I feel like a lot of people are getting, uh, they're, they're starting to see numbers. You're starting to see times. Things are just starting to feel a little crazy. And not just that, I feel like the more that some of you guys have been diving into spirituality, watching YouTube channels on uh, for uh, vision uh, seers, oracles and stuff, I feel that you you are starting to open up to the possibilities that there are things beyond your understanding. And not just that, I feel that right now you're wanting to know more about who you can become, like how powerful can you be? If I'm here for a reason, then what is that reason? And how can I hurry up and tap into that? So, I don't know, Spirit just say that there's a lot of things that's about to change around you collective. Uh, I believe that you're going to have to step into your power so you will realize what you're here for and what you're, what you're here for and what you're designed to do really soon. And it's because you want to know. It says, seek and you shall find. You are actually searching for answers and collective you about to get some answers <laughs> messages of love and light for my beautiful collective messages of love and light oh i want to take all of them i like how they feel out oh i just seen a seven of swords and a tower so i feel like you got some some people coming back towards you Cause this abundance is around okay this stuff keeps falling out like this i'm gonna take this one because it came out with the ten of pentacles so right now the ten of pentacles there's a lot of abundance around your collective i feel like right now um yeah right now your financial situation is is looking really good i feel that uh right now you're focusing on your stability you're focusing on a home um a home atmosphere if you it's like if you are single like this is something that that sh that's going to be coming up i feel like collective your wish your wishes are about to be fulfilled there's a lot of abundance around you and because i saw the seven of swords i feel that because of this abundance like there there's people in your past that's trying to come up and be a part of this Y'all already know. A comment, do comments if if, if y'all already, if some of these people already start uh, showing up and it's because of this abundance. It's something happening in your life collective. The ones that are watching this, there's something happening in your life that is very life-changing, drastic, altering your uh, the way you perceive life as you know it. 
And I feel like because of the things that are happening, that's the reason why some of you guys are diving more into spirituality because you, you're starting to see things and you want a better understanding of it. Got the Eight of Pentacles right here. So the Eight of Pentacles, to me, the Eight of Pentacles in this deck is you really, since this abundance is coming in, you are really, you are organizing your life, meaning people, situations, things that you used to deal with in the past, you're not dealing with that shit no more. And I feel like this abundance is putting you up on alert because you know people are out for you. You know that. You know people are trying to get a part of the hard work that you put in. So right now, I feel like you're in the energy of anything that can hinder or is not going to bring forth light to your home situation, you're cutting it out. It's already been cut out, but I feel like there, there are uh, situations that are about to reoccur so that you could solidify people and situations are cut. Like, so now they know. I mean, they know already, but you know, back in the day when you used to, you know, they used to come to you, you know, with the sad story, you'd be like, oh, all right, I'm gonna fuck with you. No, not this time. I'm sorry. You're gonna be left out. Then we have the two of cups, right? The two of cups is speaking of, there is about to, there is this, um, Spirit says, since you've been uh, releasing things, people, situations, habits, now you are going into this, this very strong commitment, a very strong spiritual commitment. This is somebody that's about to pour into you. This is somebody that's your equal. I'm getting power moves, power couple. For a lot of you guys, you feel that, you know, some reason why you feel like you're single because you, because you don't see anybody that's willing to work as hard as you to obtain this, this family dynamic or something. For a lot of you, you haven't had relationships that really lasted uh, a good two minutes <laughs> because of the, the uh, differences of religion, spirituality, just the thought process. But this person that is coming in or that has already come into your life, they're here because now you, you have, you have disciplined yourself. You have reconditioned yourself. You have reprogrammed yourself for abundance. And now abundance is at your door. This eight of pentacles is here just to make sure that you know you have to clear people out that's coming in because they on their way. And this spirit is saying, what does being mean to you? Being means to me, I only speak myself, is abundance and happiness. That That's what it is for me to be here on this earth, for me to inspire, for me to be abundant, and for me to live the best life that I was designed to live. We royalty. If you don't believe it, then that's not your portion. But if you do believe it, it's time for you to start being royal. And then the last card we have right here is the magician. This is your overall energy. The magician is that you are manifesting things. You are creative. You are looking very, very magical right now. And I want you to understand this because you're looking magical. You are, you have people watching you. You have haters watching you. And the thing is, they're going to, they just about to watch you create some beautiful, beautiful things in life. Get ready to start sorting people out. I feel people already start coming back. Y'all having y'all about to have a lot of exes, a lot of ex boyfriends, ex girlfriends, ex friends, ex family members, people that you stop fucking with. They are coming in. Why? Because they see you create in this world. They can feel the energy around you. You are vibrant. You are magical. All right. Let me get uh, two cards from the Love Oracle Deck Collective. Okay, we have many options, decision, unconventional, string alongs, one night stand. Look, I seen, look, you, you there's somebody that's coming in that is a, a, a habitual liar. This person has narcissistic uh, energy around them and they're coming in so that they could string you along. Because right now, this was somebody that, that, that you gave them your attention, a lot of attention. And this, this, this person only abused it. They they abuse the love, and then when you finally were strong enough to pull back your energy, it's like this person could have ghosted you, and it's like this person doesn't take accountability. They're still healing. They have a lot of childhood trauma. Spirits say they're coming back in so that they can get your mind back focused on them and not on your priorities, but I already know the energy around you. You're not trying to hear that because this person just wants to... Um, one night that they want to come, you know, fuck on you, and then they want to get you strong, and then they want to leave. The, the, these decisions that they're the, the decision that you're going to make is going to 
either catapult you into your abundant future or it's going to slow you down from receiving what you deserve, what you've been working for. And then with Spirit of Sand got the hand of cards. Do not, this person is coming in. Don't let them know what you're doing. This person is an energy vampire. They see your ever at, they see your blessings. They see your money stacking up. They've been watching you this whole time. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is somebody that, that, that was a toxic, um, a, a, a toxic connection. This was a, 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 a toxic soulmate that you had to learn a lot of lessons from. You had to learn self-love. You had to learn to put yourself first and not them. And now they're coming back in to see if they can get you back wrapped around their fingers because this mofo see your bread and they see your abundance. But the thing is, once you leave, once you cut ties with this person, because you've already been spiritually trying to disconnect from this mofo. Once you cut ties with them, like for sure, like they know, I know, don't call me. Yeah, uh, I feel like this is your happy ever after. And this is because you manifest this. You are a brilliant creator. All right, I'm going to let y'all go. I love y'all. I hope y'all having a wonderful day. Please stay in this creative mode. Um, yeah, because we're beautiful. We are beautiful beings. You are beautiful. Look at this. I mean, and you deserve everything that's coming. For some of you guys, you could find out that you're pregnant with another baby, maybe a girl. But yeah, I see money all around you. Loyalty is coming in for you because you deserve it. All right, y'all. I love you. Love yourself. Like and subscribe. Hey, hit that... Um, Hit up Phoenix Intuitions and stay blessed.